Okie dokie. Well, hi everybody, and it's cast time once again. And as you can tell, um, there is this is um this is just gonna be a nature hike. Um, here, let me. Oh yeah, um, this is gonna be uh, located in Stone Mountain, Georgia, so southeastern United States. But uh, the it's kind of kind of confusing on the wording. Or there's a below this video. There's hashtag Georgia. But if you click it, it actually gives you the European version of Georgia, like the oh, the country over there. So, but yeah, and then the, the description says it's, you know, here in Stone Mountain, Georgia. So, yeah, might wanna, they might want to fix that. Um, but this is, a, this is a new channel I'm checking out, like Nomadic, nomadic Ambience or something like that. Because, yeah, the, um, the, the one I usually go to... Um, 4k relaxation or something like that they're on one end it's really cool if they're branching out but on the other hand they're starting to they're starting to add a lot of music and uh extra sound effects and stuff and i think in one of the video one of the recent videos they're even uh adding narration like they got a video on there about uh they're just showing like showing lions walk lions running around or lions running around africa but then they got somebody talking in the background which just kills it so so yeah, so I thought I'd give this channel a go, um, but, but yeah, um, once again, once again, we're in, uh, Stone Mountain, Stone Mountain, Georgia, um, probably one of the parks over there, and then the reason I'm going with this is because I, today I don't, it, I'll probably talk more about it, but the, the, the short version here, um, I did a lot of lollygagging today, just, I think uh, I ended up taking a nap that went on a little too long and ended up being a two-hour nap. So, but again, I'll 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 talk more about this later. So, but let's go ahead and let's get the hike started. Um, but okay, and right off the bat, headphones have to come off. I've been having a problem with them ever since for the past week. Um, but, yeah, there, I got a wire issue, um, that means, uh, the right ear just keeps cutting in and out, so, I'm getting tired of yanking it, tired of holding it in one place, so, off they go. But, otherwise, um, for today's stream, uh, it actually went pretty good again, uh, despite me getting, uh, really crappy sleep, just had some, uh, I had major sinus problems, because, uh, I think yesterday, um, yesterday and beyond yesterday, I think the weather was probably in the, uh, in the 60s or 70s. Well, all of a sudden, today, it just dipped down into the 30s and 40s. Usually, whenever the weather changes that suddenly, it messes with my sinuses. So, yeah, kind of, kind of hard to sleep when my nose is plugged up. I think I was using nasal spray, but you, you can't use it too often. Otherwise, it, it, it triggers an OD effect where it has the opposite effect. Like, it actually plugs up your nose. So, like I said, I made, made a couple attempts, but there the relief was only temporary. Um, but yeah, anyway, anyway. Um, so, uh, on my stream, just did my usual... Um, or actually, my usual yet not usual. I did my usual idle game medley. Um, I started with idling the rule of the gods, and um, I was gonna start with uh, idle research again, but uh, one of my regulars came on and suggested, uh, "Hey, how about um, how about Grim Clicker? It's been a while since you played that one, so I figured, eh, why not?" So, um, considering it was a game that I haven't played in a few years, there was a lot of catching up, so it was pretty messy because the uh, the when the game does its offline calculations, it's going to be going back a few years. So, yeah, I think it, um, last I checked, the game has to be logged in at over 10,000 hours. But, um, actually, you know what? I got my Steam page open on that. Let me, uh, let me take a look at that real quick. Okay. So, yeah, it, um, this, my Steam page... It shows me that I've been playing Grim Clicker for 29 hours, but uh, in game, it's also adding in the um, it's also adding in the um, 
Uh, I hope he's not going to do this too often. Stuff like that really kills these kind of videos. I mean, I just, I just want to see the walk. I don't want, I don't want the constant narration and, oh, here's my initials on this tree. Oh man, I used to, I used to pee in this part of the river all the time and, hey, see that little, like, see that little dip over there? I used to take a dump in there all the time, you know, and all that other stuff and, hey, look at the woodpecker. Like, I don't care. Like, I just, I just want to see the walk. So, anyway, um, getting back, getting back on subject, um, but yeah, it seems Grim Clicker, um, it's counting my offline time as well, so like I said, I think I've locked in over, over 10,000 hours, so, like I said, I haven't played that game in a few years, so, I had to do some catching up, I had to try to reorient myself, try to figure out what the, where the hell my, where the hell my head was at a few years ago, doing. Well, maybe you'll do it here, too. Is he going to get a running start? Oh, damn. Is he going to go for it? I mean, streams are cool and all, but, man, water is freaking yellow. I wonder where... I wonder what the source is like. Doing. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm um, just trying to figure out where uh, where my head was at a few years ago when I played this game last. Kind of got reoriented, and then um, and then going forward, um. It's not it's not a 100% confirmation, but there is going to be a chance that I might play Grim Clicker again tomorrow. Um, one one drawback I definitely found was uh kind of like um kind of like Idle Champions, which I did play after uh, Grim Clicker. Um, it's fairly graphic intensive. It takes up a lot of uh, CPU, so it's a pretty tough game to play while you're streaming, because streaming alone already uses up a fair amount of computer resources. And then having uh, having Grim Clicker or uh, Idle Champs go on also is going to use up even more of them. So. But originally I was going to, I was going to fire up Trimps afterwards. Uh, but I did, I think it just slipped my mind. So I just went uh, straight to, uh, just went straight to Idle Champs instead. Oh, what's he doing? I just saw the umbrella come down. Okay, got the headphones back on. So. Uh, but otherwise, that's pretty much in on the stream and then um later on later on I did do a I did do a a quickie pinball FX3 session it actually went pretty good um I beat um I think I played uh what was it oh god my brain farted I, I know one of the tables I played was Funhouse and I did beat the high score on that. Um, let me see if I can pull it up. Oh, never mind, never mind, I don't have to. And uh, I also played the uh, Star Wars droids table, um, and I actually beat the high score on it. So like I said, uh, a pretty good time on FX3, or a pretty good time on the uh, matchup tables. But uh, And I did try, uh, I did check out the tournament scene, but... Uh, None of the ta none of the tables I saw had any beatable scores, so gave it a miss. Um, and I was gonna play uh, pinball arcade. Was gonna do a session on that, but I was considering how considering how terrible I was yesterday. I wasn't even gonna bother doing it today. Um, 
But uh, I do need I do need to make a quick change here. All right, headphones got to come back off. I put them back on, thinking, hey, maybe they'll, they were working a moment ago. Okay, but uh, in lieu of playing uh, pinball arcade, though, um, I did find out recently that uh, another fighting game that I play from time to time, uh, called Pocket Fighter, it's uh technically it's still in its demo stage, like it's not it's not a full release yet, but. What they did do is they um, they added a feature or two. Um, they uh, I think they enhanced the training mode in there, and something I I don't recall seeing in any other uh, in any other fighting game is um see doing see most other fighting games they're um whenever whenever a game hasn't been fully released they'll um. They'll start with a base roster of like four or five characters. Then over time, they'll start adding more of them. Um, this time around in Pocket Fighter, or am I saying Pocket Fighter? No, Pocket Bravery. Yeah, Pocket Bravery. I totally got the name wrong. But yeah, it's a it's a fighting game made in Brazil. For those that don't know, but it's a it's supposed to be more of a kind of a cheap ghetto game, the kind that can be played. Uh, Play it on your mobile. You know, can play it on your laptop. Play it on your laptop and stuff. Um. But yeah, uh, what, what, um, uh, what they decided to go ahead and do instead here is they actually swapped out characters. Like again, unlike most other fighting games, when they do stuff like this, they're adding characters. Um, not here in Pocket Bravery. What they're doing is uh, they're taking out. A, they took out like two or three characters. And then they swapped them out with two or three other characters. So, um, check that out. Um, I don't think I tried out all the new characters, but um, one thing they did add was a uh, was an assist mode here. Um, I'm gonna take a drink of some water here. Hold on. But yeah, anyway, they um, they swapped some characters out and um. Uh, I think they uh, they made a few improvements to the training mode, and on top of that, um, they also added an assist mode, or um, a one button special mode, or I'll just, I'll just say it, they kind of added an easy mode where instead of having to do the doing the the full joystick motion and then hitting a button to do a special moves, they um they tied it into one button, which I the my verdict on that is a uh, it's actually a pretty bad idea for this kind of game. I mean, one, um, it's, uh, how can I put this? I want to say, um, Guilty Gear Rev 2 first comes to mind. Um, they have a, they kind of have an assist system on this, but, um, the way they did it was a, was a lot better. Like, you can do... Again, you can you can set it to easy mode and only do one button specials, but or let me rephrase that. You could um in in Rev Two. Um, it ties everything to a special move button, and um uh, the special move button itself, it'll do a, it'll do a certain special move, and then if you hold forward, and push this button, it does special move A, or if you. If you hold down and hit the special move button, it'll do it'll do this kind of special move. Um, Pocket Bravery doesn't do this. Uh, instead, it just it's basically a shift key. So what I have to do now is, in order to do a special move, I have to hold down the button and then push a regular button. Um. I think you can, you can, um, you can key map the button, so, thinking about it now, I might actually go back and change that, because when I, uh, when I tried it out at the time, it was, uh, set to the R1 key, which kind of, it kind of get, excuse me, it kind of gets in the way of the, um, the triangle circle X square buttons. It actually makes it very unwieldy to use R1 in, conduct, in conjunction with those ones. 
So I might go ahead and key map it to L2, and then I'll see how that goes. So, but, but like I said, that was um, but yeah, it it's kind of a, a bad idea to have because it doesn't really make things that much easier. It gets it just made it to where uh, just just doing the normal motion inputs was actually a lot easier than holding down R1 and a button. So, but, but once again, um, one definite suggestion I'd have for them on that is to do it the way they do it in uh, in Guilty Gear Rev 2, where where even just uh, pushing that button alone can do a special move, and um, have the specials tied into which way you're moving at the t at the time you hit the button, rather than having to hold down R1 plus this. Yeah, because that that makes it it makes it almost harder to pull to me harder to pull off than just doing the doing the special move the normal way so and then the second problem I have with that assist mode but um, I think a lot of other fighting games also have this issue too is um it you can um it's it basically replaces the normal um uh, the normal control mapping like you can either do assist mode or not either normal or assist, but you can't have both at the same time. Killer Instinct is a bright, shiny example of this, because they're, um, to me, that game probably has my favorite assist mode. Because you can have it turned on, but it's not gonna, but it won't stop you from doing normal, inputting the uh, special moves in the normal way. So it doesn't block you out. So you can, you have two options with how you want to do your specials. You can either do those specials via assist mode or you can do it you can just do it with the normal motion inputs so you can do either or pocket bravery needs to do that i mean again especially with the uh with how unwieldy the assist system with the assist with the assi way the assist system works i'm english is my second language right now so my first language being gibberish. So, but yeah, that, but yeah, that that def, that's definitely on my wish list for that game. If they're gonna have an assist mode, then they need to follow the example of Killer Instinct. Again, I've, again, they probably have the best assist mode out of any fighting game I played. Otherwise, I think that'll do her on that. Uh, but uh, another thing, another thing that happened is, um, well, my uh, my frontline check came in. Yay! But not quite the seven hundred and fifty dollars that was uh, promised us, though. I mean, it, it's like nearly at least every month I'm getting this. I'm getting an email saying. The $750 checks are on the way, or congratulations, you have been approved for the frontline bonus, or whatever it's called, and then I look at what I got, it was like 480 bucks. Not quite the 750 that I was expecting, that I'm sure a lot of other people are expecting. In fact, um, since I have it out, let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and take a quickie look at that. So let me go ahead and Google that. So let's, let's type down... Fifty frontline workers bonus. Yeah, here it is. I'm looking at it right now. As many as six hundred and sixty seven thousand frontline workers can expect to receive a seven hundred and fifty dollar bonus. So I'm thinking we all got fucked at the last second. All 
All right, so here I'm on the um, I'm on the uh, Minnesota, I'm on the Minnesota government government website. Yeah, 487. That's exactly what I got. Those who's there. So yeah, we we kind of got fuckled on this, because once again, all of all of us were all we were promised seven hundred and fifty bucks. Now, unless we were unless we're gonna get like, unless we were gonna get the rest of the seven hundred fifty later on or something, but I'm looking at it right now. I, I don't. It doesn't say anything about it. I mean, every little bit helps, you know. I mean, it, it's got to help me stay afloat a little longer, but, you know. I mean, you got to kind of wanted the 750 bucks, so. Again, this is what we were promised. Well, it's going a lot off the beaten path. Oh, going to go check out the yellow water. Must be a whole lot of peeing going on upstream. Okay, back on the beaten path. I gotta, I gotta keep, I gotta keep the window active in order to keep the video going. Otherwise, it freezes up. So. Actually, you know what? Ew, freaking red line. But anyway, yeah. Um, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Because I believe I said all the things that I wanted to say today. And like I said, I didn't... Aside from the few things I mentioned, um, I was pretty much a lazy ass today. Just ended up, ta ended up taking a nap that went a bit over long. Or considering the uh, bad sleep I had this morning, it wasn't, didn't surprise me much. So, But otherwise, um, otherwise, thanks to... Or, Otherwise, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. And like I said, my it seems uh, English is my second language right now. My first, my primary language being gibberish at the moment. Um, but thanks for uh, dropping in and hanging out with me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody. And I'll see you all next time.